this. This is Mrs. Yeiser, and today's art lesson is in celebration of Earth Day, which is tomorrow, April 22nd. And um, it's a great opportunity to get outside, and I don't know if the weather's going to be nice, but um, hopefully it'll be nice enough where you can get outside today and go and collect and find some beautiful natural objects. So I'm just gonna turn my camera. And this is some of the things that I have collected. So I found a variety of different types of little wild flowers. These are things that I found as I was walking through my neighborhood. Um, and I found different types of um, greenery. So these are blades of grass. This is some petals from a rhododendron bush in my, in my garden, back in my backyard. A, a stick. This, I don't really know what it is, but it's really a cool shape. So I thought I could do something neat with that. And your job, once you have collected all of these amazing items from nature, is to try and find a way to create different types of insects. So right here, I don't know if you can guess what this is, but it's a dragonfly. Um, I find dragonflies to be absolutely beautiful, and they are really cool because they eat a ton of mosquitoes. And I don't know about you, but I do not like mosquitoes, so I love dragonflies for that reason. And I found um, some leaves to use for the wings. I used a blade of grass for the body because they have a long body and a long tail. I used a, um, a flower for the head. And then I used two sticks that I broke for the antennas. Once you've done one of these, you can photograph it and be done. Or I would challenge you to try to find ways to make other types of insects. So I'm going to collect these again and then I'm going to to create something different now. Um, what should I make? When you think about insects, insects have six legs. If you wanted to make a spider, a spider has eight legs. That's called an arachnid. You could also make spiders. I think I want to make a butterfly. So, hmm. I'm going to start thinking about the body and I'm looking at what I have here. So I think I want to make this the body. I think this is really pretty and I could pull off a couple of these purple um, flowers just to make so that these are the two antennas. So there's like the head, the antennas, and this is the body. And I'm gonna put that down on my paper. I wish you could see the antennas, there we go. And then I'm going to think about the wings. Now I don't know if you're aware, but butterflies are something called symmetrical. Most insects are symmetrical. Symmetrical is what happens when you break when you divide an object in half, if it's the same on both sides, it's symmetrical. So I'm going to take these two leaves that I have and I'm going to put them on either side towards the top, for the top part of the butterfly wing. Then I'm going to take these leaves and I'll try to find two that are similar in size. And these will be the bottom. Man, yeah, they're a little big. I'm going to rip them. And monarch butterflies are the types of butterflies that have very beautiful designs on their wings. So I'm going to actually use these little tiny p flowers that I broke off and create designs on the wings. Now, as I said, they're symmetrical. So if I do it to the side, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side on the wing. Oops, this is fun. All right, now I could put, I'll put one of these here and I'm doing this symmetrically, so I'm gonna put the other one here. These are really pretty, little white flowers. I can pop those off and put one here. And one here. Oh, my window is open, I hope it doesn't blow my design away. And how about these? We'll put one. These are really pretty. These are like wild pansies. One on this wing. Actually, I want to move this down. The bottom wing needs something else. And then these are really cute. So this is just a really, really fun way to use natural objects to create art and there's lots of things you could do after you do a butterfly there's another insect you can imagine 
try to create those. So let me just zoom in. There's my butterfly. She's beautiful. All right. So I had a lot of fun doing that. I am sure you're going to have a good time doing that as well. And as always, if you are proud of the artwork that you're creating, please feel free to email the art teacher from your school with the photo of you and your artwork. And don't forget to include your name and your school just in case. All right. Have fun, everybody. Happy Earth Day. I hope everybody's healthy and safe. Miss you all. Bye.